Hi Greta student, so in this video we are going to do only a two notes. So this is a continuation of the question paper that we started from question one up to the last one which is this question. So under this question guys, uh, this is common test that was written in 2019 question three. So we are going to prepare ordinary share capital and retain innings notes. Please make sure that you watch until we finish everything so that you can gain more knowledge and more principle under this video okay so the question paper that we have let's read the required then we go to the information required 3.1 prepare the following notes to the balance sheet statement which is statement of financial position for the year end 28 february 2019 3.1.1 ordinary share capital 3.1.2 retain income okay eight marks and six marks that's a lot of marks guys that's a lot of marks so let's start with ordinary share capital so this is the format that you have to know first you start with opening balance you have to indicate how many share this side and you multiply by amount then you get what the balance is okay so the number two we're going to prepare a retaining innings or return retain income okay so this is the format that you are going to use. So let's go to our information now. Okay. The first information that we have is from income statement of 28 February 2019. And we have extract from balance sheet on 28 February. Okay. We have in inventory, ordinary capital, and we have retained income balance. Okay. For retaining uh, for ordinary share capital, we can start because we are given uh, opening and closing. Okay, this is the total amount. Opening is eighteen thousand. Opening it will be the amount of twenty eighteen. Okay, then we also have a closing of twenty four. Twenty four seven hundred thousand. Very simple, but we are not done. Okay. Now let's go to number D, which is related to share, because number C is about a markup percentage. Okay. Number D, they said the company is authorized to issue 5 million share. Authorized means that company is allowed to sell share until maximum of 5 million. Okay. Number two, average share price was 6 rand at the beginning of the financial year. Okay, so in other words, they are saying that the share price average was six rand at the beginning. You have to write it here, which means that now we have to find out how many shares, how many shares at the beginning. It's very simple. 18 million divided by six is going to give you 300, 3 million shares at the beginning, 3 million shares. There's a max for this one. So make sure that you show this information before you indicate this amount. Okay. Then number two. Number three, they said 1 million share was issued on 1 September 2018. And they didn't give us a price. Okay. So issued simply means that uh, this is the share that we sold. Uh, during the year okay and again uh, they said that 200 shares were repurchased from a certain shareholder at nine rand uh, per share during 20 January 2019 okay and they said this share do qualify for final dividend okay now we must first check out how are we going to calculate a share issued remember remember guys we only given this amount of one million shares of how much are we going to apply with to multiply by they didn't give us okay which means that for now we can skip that part and proceed okay why are we proceeding because 
you can find that this amount has been uh, calculated as a what? As a balancing figure, which means that we must get everything first, then we go back. All right. Now let's proceed. Then we have a repurchase of two hundred shares, two hundred thousand shares. Okay, and we have to know how much do we have to multiply with. This one it can be simple only if we get the balance at the end. All right, balance at the end. Three hundred thousand, three million share at the beginning of the year, plus one million share which we we sold them. Then it give us four million share that we we have as a as a company minus two hundred of both back, which means that we're gonna let with three point eight million share okay and now we have to get amount of average how much was average because remember when we calculate share buyback we use average share okay 24 million 700 divided by 3.8 million is gonna give us how much 650 this amount of 650 must be the same with this one 650 if you get the one at the end obviously you get the one you already get this one for board back and if you get board back of obvious you have this one because they must be the same okay if you calculate this it's gonna give you 1.3 million 1.3 million very simple okay now we have to go back to to this one and solve it as an x remember both back is a bracket because it's a minus we have to say opening plus x minus this one equals to, to this one you did a formula and you do calculation and you will get an amount of 8 million 8 million okay so this one exactly is a matter of solving what x you form equation and you said 8 million plus x minus 1.3 million equals to, to this one and from there you do a versa versa for doing what of calculating an x you know that if you did math even if you are doing a math literacy you know how to solve for x all right now because we get this one now we can go back and get this one very simple now 8 million divided by 1 million is gonna give us it run simple that's how you should do uh, this one okay so now let's proceed to retaining innings retaining innings balance at the beginning it was given 1.3 million and 70 thousand okay then after that net profit after tax uh, that we have is amount of check uh, if you check on your income statement you're gonna find it it's 1.470 very simple now share buyback under the 10 innings what is the difference between share buyback that we have under 10 innings and the one that we have under what under ordinary share capital the difference is is that this one is a normal price average price is like a normal price this is the one that we lost is the one that we lost when we buy back those share remember those share we buy them back by nine rand nine rand out of nine rand normal price that we subtract is six rand fifty this one that we record under ordinary share which means that the loss is different between this one the loss is two rand fifty we lose 250 which means that our retaining innings our profit is going down by what by 250 my blah by 200,000 number of years that we bought back okay then it's gonna give you an amount of 500,000 500,000 because it's a loss it must be in a, a bracket okay now let's proceed to dividends dividends we have 
interim dividends that was paid during the year and final dividends that was paid at the end of the year or the one that has been declared at the end of the year and we add them together they're gonna give us dividends okay then we have number one number e an interim dividend of 15 cent per share was declared and paid on 31 august 2018 okay so before we proceed guys thank you so much if you are watching until here please please guys make sure that you have subscribed to subscribe is free of charge you are not going to pay anything just to subscribe on our channel let us grow guys so that we can upload more and more videos that can help a lot of south african student and other student from outside the country okay and also guys you can also support us by purchasing a study guide if you haven't purchased a study guide for grade 12 please make sure that you do so contact us on, on whatsapp then we're gonna assist you immediately okay now let's proceed we have to calculate a interim dividend and final dividend then they said interim dividend is 15 cent per share okay and it was declared and paid on august okay it was paid on august now we have to find out how many shares we have on august we have 300,000. What about 1 million? This 1 million was issued on September, which means that they were not there. And this one was not yet bought back, which means that we have 3 million shares. 3 million shares of interim that qualify for interim, which means that it's 15 cents. And final dividends. They said a final dividend of 30 cent per share was declared on 28 February 2019. Okay, how many shares were there uh, during the 2019? And they said this share do qualifies for final dividends. If you go back to number D, they said those 200,000 shares, they qualify for what? For final dividends, which means that we don't have to exclude them. As you can see, guys, at the end of the year, the balance was 3.8. But we have to include them back because they are going to qualify, which means that it's 4 million. 4 million multiplied by 30 cent. Okay. But if they say they don't qualify, which means that you are going to use 3.8 million shares. Okay. Then now the balance for interim is going to give us uh, 450. You, you can also calculate on your side. We have to make sure that you put bracket. And the other one, final dividends is 1.2. One point two million. Okay, and you have to show the total for this one. If you add them together, they are going to give you one point six fifty thousand. Okay, then now the balance at the end, you said opening plus net profit after tax minus share buyback and minus only this total because this one is part of this so it's gonna give you the balance at the end of six night this ninety thousand so i hope you have learned something on this video and thank you so much for watching i hope you have subscribed and you are going to share with friends i'm gonna see you on the next 